Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to start a new project which is car rental management system. So let's get started with integrating the admin panel first. I'll just go to my browser and over here I have this dashboard from creativetim.com. I'll put the link in the description and you can just log in and download this from here. Okay, so you can just download the zip file. Okay, so you can see it is downloading over here. We will give it some time to complete. And the download shows done. Now let me just open it in folder. I have got the zip file over here. Now let me just extract it. Okay, so let's open this. And you have your index.html over here and you have pages. So once you go inside pages, you can see you have the dashboard and other pages. So you can just double click on the dashboard and you can see you got the admin panel over here. So now we will be integrating this in our PHP project. So I have created a blank PHP project over here. So we will open this. Keep it at this level and open NVS code. In your index.html. Let us check what we've got here. And we have seen the dashboard.html, right? So we can take the things from here itself. Okay. So firstly, I will just create a new folder over here called admin. And inside the admin, we will create another file called index.php. Okay. So here I will just say echo admin dashboard. So let us open this page in our browser. So I have called the path over here and you can see we have returned the admin dashboard over here. Okay. So now we are going to integrate the design which we just downloaded. Okay. So over here we have fonts and icons, Nucleo icons. So we will just take whatever is necessary and we will try to reduce what we will not require. Okay. So first we'll just copy this. And over here I will create a new file called includes slash header dot php okay so inside this we will keep our okay and we need to copy this css and paste it over here okay so i'll create a new folder called assets and over here we have assets css and you can take all of this okay and even the fonts we don't need any of these images okay and js we can take all of this so I'll just copy the whole assets. Say copy. We already have created an assets folder over here. So I'll just remove this and directly paste it inside admin. Okay, so we have got all the assets and we are calling this inside the include side. So go one step above and this should work. We'll just test it in some time. So here we'll include the it's inside the includes folder, right? Includes header.php. So we have included the header.php. Now let us get back to the design part over here. And what else do we have over here? This is the sidebar. This is the main tag. 
and this is the footer i guess sidebar colors let us just fold this these are the js files and this is for the chart js which we will not be using currently so we can just ignore this okay so if you want you can just integrate this but for now we're not using this and this is for the side nav scroll bar so we will take this so i will not be using this github buttons and let us take this first and we'll create another file over here called footer.php and over here in your header as you see you have created and till the open body we have and the close body close html will be in the footer okay so you can put that over here and similarly close the html tag as well okay and now here you can see we have the script js included Yeah, the core JS files. We are going to copy this and paste them in our footer.php. Okay. And this path, if it is right or not, we can just confirm that in a minute. This is the index.php, which is outside the admin folder. And yeah, for now, we'll just leave this and inside the admin we have index.php we have included the header.php and i will include the footer.php as well includes footer.php and now we will include the sidebar let me create a new file called sidebar.php and here we will have the code you can see this uh, aside tag which has the side nav header and there is another char over here side nav footer okay so you can just copy this and you can see you have this in your body tag okay so you can put this as well for now we'll just copy this and paste it in your sidebar save this close it and include it over here sidebar.php and in our header we have this right we'll add the class over here so let's copy the whole thing paste it okay so now let us just refresh and check the output okay we have got it but the css is not linked yet so that is because we have included the header inside this index.php and according to this structure if you see it is directly in this folder right you don't have to go one step above so you can just remove this okay save and now you refresh so you can see we've got the css but the scroll bar is not designed this is because we have not changed the js yet so let's go to the footer.php and we will remove this save refresh and yeah your scroll bar is also designed now so let us fix this and this thing which we have printed over there we will remove that as well so in your index.php we will remove this and in the sidebar there is an image over here in the side nav header you have the img tag over here inside assets you have img and all these images are over here so you can either remove this refresh so you got the image over here if you want you can change this to your own logo and now you see when you scroll this thing is static over here and this items are scrolling behind this so let us remove these things which we don't require so in your sidebar this is the collapsible and this side nav footer let us just comment this and check refresh okay but still there is this height is fixed 
so let us just inspect so here it is scrolling but you have this thing fixed over here so inside this aside tag this is the thing which we just commented and over here in this you can just scroll up and see there is a height over here so when you just comment that you can see you have got that so i'll just copy this class go to code and here inside your header.php you can create a styles.css file and link it over here or you can just use the style tag and write the css here itself so we can we'll just remove this and say height 100 percent okay just copy that paste it over here and add the important okay save it and now when you refresh we are getting it to the complete screen and that part is not blocked so we have the sidebar set now let us go back to the code and in your sidebar.php you can remove this okay and instead of this we can write car rental project and this link so it doesn't redirect to other website than what we are working okay save and over here you have dashboard tables let me yeah so you can just change this according to your requirements so i will remove all of this we will keep on adding as and when we require that okay so here okay can just remove that refresh okay so we've got the dashboard and the tables okay and this will be the dashboard for the admin right after he log in he will be redirected to the index.php so let us write a welcome message over here in a card in your index.php over here you can just close that php and open php over here so it's kind of i just put it in one line yeah so here we'll say dot card card body say h4 welcome admin dashboard okay so save and refresh okay so as you see this thing is gone inside the sidebar also we have to make it only within this much right so let us go back to the template which we downloaded and over here you can see once the aside tag is closed you have the main tag over here and all your content is inside this right so you can just copy this main tag and over here in your header.php inside the body tag you can paste this okay and one more thing we have over here is before the main tag we have the side nav okay so we can directly include the side nav over here itself instead of calling it again and again in every page so i'll just remove it from here and paste it inside this okay So we've got the sidebar over here which is already inside the includes folder so we don't need this let's say include sidebar.php and you have the navbar over here so let me just go back to the design so this is the navbar so let us take this as well over here just copy this or just copy it till here and directly paste it and these are the notifications which is there in that dashboard let me show you yeah so over here you'll have a lot of things 
so these things we are not going to use this so i will remove that okay mm, yeah so we will just have this breadcrumbs which is nothing but this and this sign in thing we will just use this for logout and we will remove the rest of the things okay so here you have the breadcrumb and over here we don't need this search bar this is an a tag which is a button yeah save this and now just refresh and yeah we have got that we'll put this to the end for that you will just have to write over here justify content if that doesn't work just say margin start auto and that should put it to the end yeah and now we've got this welcome admin dashboard message inside the page where it is supposed to come and it is not gone inside the sidebar so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to integrate admin dashboard in our php project so please like the video and subscribe to the channel and also do let me know in the comments if you have any doubts or clarifications and i will answer them thanks for watching